just way too easy. Another drive and kick opportunity from Carly Jones. Malcolm Hill comes up a little bit long, but Dalen Terry gets the long rebound, tapped away. The Mad Ants come up with. You know, he was a little loose with the basketball, a little sloppy. So that's one of the areas where being down here and getting the reps will help him. And then Mad Ants again converting from long distance. Uh, the fourth team foul on the Mad Ants as we get into the final two minutes. Turnover for Windy City and Queen more than happy to take it in and throw it down. Treble and Queen, one of the leading scorers in the G League. Oh, almost a turnover there. Drell to Nick King, who did not see the pass coming, and they do wind up with an easy basket. Pedro Bradshaw between shot clock and game clock, so Windy City will get one more try after this possession if they can clear the rebound. Queen, a little step back three, and that is good. Another three for the Mad Ants. Another conversion on the free throw by the Windy City Bulls. They're now 5 for 5 from the charity stripe, which gets you 10 points. But that shot is going to get 3 points for Treble and Queen. They had 111 field goal attempts, and they were all threes. <laughs> division, this Division 3. And they've done this for a couple of years, shooting almost all threes. But last night, every shot attempt was a three-pointer. I mean, that that's almost making it a different game. There's Kostas again trying to set that high screen. Carly Jones is trying to save the ball. Terry throws it right to Queen. He'll go, oh, he throws it with the finger. Right, Carly Jones goes off the iron, no good, and we'll push it back the other way. Queen he says, why not? I've got 18, now i got 21. He can well, shoot it. Oh, somebody opened the door that came up a little bit short. The gust of wind got that one as Gabe York will fire for three. This Mad Ants team can just unload from three-point range of Malcolm Hill as well as he looked at the official. But that's also where I think the Bulls now have to slow this game down. Otherwise, things like that will happen. You're going to have to start running guys off threes. They had, he had an def initial defender on him, and they had a double stunting, which then forced him to hesitate. And there's Queen. Wow. <laughs> He's feeling himself now. Queen, nice pass to oh. Cunning Anderson. He blows the layup. Now he gets the steal. Drell with an ill-advised pass up the middle of the floor. We should have tried to throw it over the top yeah. of the defense instead of trying to throw a bounce pass. Now Justin Anderson, the veteran, the lefty three. Sandy now has 16 points. But Thompson did an excellent job with the penetration, collapses the defense, and then he finds the open man. It's, he had great vision, but he also showed patience to make the right pass. That's where Drell's got to be looking up floor. He did an excellent job of attracting the defender, and he left a man wide open, but the Bulls were able to get the offensive rebound. He up 6-5 yeah. and under lead. Yeah. Carleek Jones with a nice finish. Increased the lead to Oh! The high-flying Trevlin Queen. He is putting on quite an exhibition. We'll be back with the frantic finish as you see Trevlin Queen flying through the sky on Friday night for a big power slam. The finish coming up on NBC Sports Chicago.